Hi, you lovelies! Call me Greg here, and I th I need to post a Halloween video. Literally, it's almost the end of the month of October, and I haven't posted like anything Halloween related. So we're gonna play Bed Wars and talk about Halloween experiences. We need a spooky themed map. Uh, random. Bam! I just clicked randomly. I was originally gonna share scary stories, but um, it's 3 a.m. and I get scared easily, and um, there's all the lights in my room are off, so we're not gonna do that. A lot of you kind of have asked for phasmophobia. I do plan on doing that as well. Maybe I'll stream it over the weekend. I don't know. I need to get it first though. Also, I do have a special video planned for October 31st, so don't even worry about it. So we're gonna talk about costumes, Halloween costumes. If you want, go ahead and put your own Halloween costumes down in the comment section. I'm curious as to what you guys were. I was a very consistent person with my Halloween costumes. I was Pocahontas three years in a row. I was Tinkerbell three years in a row. When I was younger, I would always pick like the same people that I wanted to do and nothing else. Look, Frisk, I learned how to bridge. Are you proud of me? Bam. It's literally like it was useless in that moment, but I did it anyways. Anyways, so when I was young, I absolutely loved Tinkerbell. I loved Peter Pan. I'm honestly surprised I wasn't Peter Pan. <gasps> Peter Pan is my all-time favorite Disney movie. So I was Tinkerbell though, and I had cute little wings and a glowing fairy wall. And a glowing fairy wand, and it was super cute. And I was literally Tinkerbell. I used to live in an old house before I moved to the one I'm currently living in. I moved to my old my new house when I was six, and I was Tinkerbell for probably like four of the years at my old house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to fall. Please. Please. I was a cat. I was a cat when I was like three, and then I was probably a witch when I was four. And then when I moved to my old house, I found another Disney movie that I really enjoyed, and that was Pocahontas. And I, it's actually really funny. There's a lake in my backyard where, um, where, like, Morgany and I would literally, we would play, like, in Indians. Like, we would pretend to be, like, Pocahontas and other people and tribes. It was the best. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, boy, let's go. What? Oh. <laughs> I was really confused for a second. Let's pop in with a pop-up tower. Let's pop in. <laughs> no. I'm gonna steal this kill. It's my kill. Thank, thank you. I'm annoying. Where is he? What's he doing? Is he running to my base from all the way over there? Where are you going? Mm. I have six. <gasps> so one of the sad things is that when I was younger, I didn't exactly know what I wanted to be as far as Halloween costumes. I still don't really know what I want to be, but that's okay. That's a different story. Sorry, bro. Oh wait, he doesn't have diamond stuff. GG. But I didn't know what I wanted to be as far as Halloween costumes. My parents would always be like, what do you want to be for Halloween this year, sweetie? And I'm like, um, I, I don't know. And they're like, oh, well, you could be blah, 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 blah. And all the people that they would list, I had no idea who they were. So two years of my life, I went going as characters I didn't really know. One example of those years was Princess Leia. My mom was like, oh, you could be Princess Leia. And I was like, um, uh, what does she look like? And she showed me pictures and I loved Princess Leia and I didn't even know who she was. And then we also watched all of the Star Wars movies before Halloween in the span of like two weeks before it happened. And I was introduced to a beautiful series. I love Star Wars. I didn't know who Princess Leia was when my mom bought the costume, but I knew who she was while I was walking around with a freaking gun. 
like the not not a legit real gun but one of the little laser guns that they shoot in in the show i, I promise the second character that i didn't know who they were was Katniss Everdeen. I knew that Hunger Games was a big deal. My my mom was like, you should be Katniss Everdeen. And I was like, okay. Whee! And then you just pop in and destroy their life. Bam. Bam. Wait, what? Hello? Finally. I love TNT rushing. Katniss Everdeen was like fifth grade, I think. Because my friend Jaden was like I love the Hunger Games and my friend Jaden I like always wanted to impress him I was not a simp by the way I just really wanted a lot of respect as a child I I was big on acceptance and sometimes I would lie in order to get that acceptance don't lie I promise you if you tell the truth people will love you but my friend Jaden was like I love Hunger Games and, and he goes have you read it and I'm like, oh, yeah, of course I read it. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, oh, yeah, that one scene where they do blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting there like, oh, yeah, that was super cool as well. I think he caught my bluff, though. Jaden was smart. <laughs> my mom knew that Hunger Games was a huge deal around that time. And she was like, oh, you should be Katniss. And I was like, okay, because um, Katniss is hecka cool. I had a bow and everything. And Morgan actually shared a, a story about um, her being Katniss Everdeen. That's... Okay, this guy's just... <laughs> Bye, guy. Oh, he's coming back. Hey, buddy. Relax, buddy. Let's just do this together. Mega PvP under the sun. Mega PvP under the sun. Mega PvP, having a good day. Mega, are you done under the sun? Bye, dude. Where you go? Come here. <laughs> Morgan had a funny story on her channel about her being Katniss Everdeen, so you should definitely check that out. I was watching it in bed, and I had to be quiet because my dad was working next door, like his office is right next to my bedroom. <laughs> and I was- I had to do that like awkward silent laugh sort of thing. It was really funny. Okay, let's figure out where these kiddos are. Oh, there's one kiddo. The bow that we had, that I got, it was really funny because Morgan actually came over to my house and um, shot that bow and she shot an arrow right up on the roof. I probably should have gappled up. Okay, never mind, we're good. Holy moly, he had a lot of M's. It was so funny because I we while we were shooting it, I was like, "Don't hit it on the roof, Morgan." <laughs> She's like, "I won't." She hit it on the roof. I started with three arrows before Halloween started, and I ended with one. I was like showing off that bow. I felt so cool, and I was showing it off. And another friend came over, and they shot the bow. <laughs> And then, guess where it landed? On the wolf. On the wolf. Okay, don't even get me started on my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle phase. Hello? <laughs> okay that happened that was funny i was hoping to lose my invis right in front of him before he finished the bridge 
but he sadly got over to the next base before that happened. But don't even get me started on my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle phase. I was literally a ninja for three years in a freaking row. I loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I can literally quote the first episode word for word. He, he had a brain. We all have brains, Mikey. Not all of us. In our chests. No, Mikey, not in our chests. You're not listening to me! Did you just slap me? I was trying to calm you down. Why would that calm me down? I have more, but to spare your sanity, I won't do anymore. My my parents um, actually signed me up for karate lessons for the reason of me loving Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I did nothing about it. Oh my gosh, I'm so good. Okay, dude, are we seriously gonna play this game? I love this game. I think I've mentioned this before, how much I love this game. Sorry, bruv. Sorry, dude. Whee! Hello? What? He just left? That makes me sad. I thought we were friends. Oh, I'm the only one with a bed again. Okay, so we could either- <laughs> Okay, so let's- Okay, actually, I just realized he could- Yeah, he has a fire. Be gone, dude. Don't even think about it. It's my bed. My bed. Nobody touches my bed. Oh, wait, no, yellow's still in the game. My bed is on fire. It is very sad. Wait, what? Oh, oh my gosh, I'm yellow. Hmm, he is somewhere this away. <gasps> Oh, hi. I'm just gonna... Oh, what the... He said, dumb? <laughs> yes. I'm scared of him, because he's mean. Mean people are scary. Where he at? Oh, he's in there. What's up, dude? <gasps> That's a diamond sword. <laughs> okay. <gasps> have a heart, have a heart. He goes, bruh. I was Wendy from Fairy Tale, and Morgan was Urza. That was fun. That was seventh grade. Eighth grade, I went to a Taylor Swift concert because my sister loves Taylor Swift. What? What? I. Oh, he fell. Okay. Bedwars. What? I just want to take the boom. Boop. Uh oh. Die. 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 Bye, dude. Sorry. Yeah, what is that? What? Clutch. It's okay. I, I totally meant to do that. And I could get his resources as well, which would be nice. Boop. Look how fast that is. Bam. Oh, not again. What is this? Oh, he saw me jump. Bye, kid. Oh. Okay, bye. Be -be -be. Yay. Goodies. It is trick or treat. Ha ha ha. I trick them and they give me a tweet. I was Michael from Be More Chill. I'm a music- I love musicals. And I was Michael in the bathroom. If you guys are on my Discord server, you probably know who um, Hummingbird, aka Anna, is. She actually was the one who sewed up my costume. She sewed the patches on my costume. My favorite ever probably has to be Tape Face. If you don't know who he is, he was on... America's Got Talent. I could probably do an entire video just on tape face. <gasps> the knockback. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to clutch it now. Please don't hit me into the void. <laughs> oh, oh, run, run. Run, 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 like there's no tomorrow. 
Oh wait, if I do a three six <laughs> Stop tapping <laughs> I'm gonna sweat at party games. Oh my goodness, the adrenaline right now. She deserved that, that was really funny. <laughs> but I was tape face and, and also Halloween is my sister's birthday. And so for her birthday, I, I, I put on a tape face show. Like I basically recreated his acts and then did them myself. And that was so much fun. Like we, we had good laughs. Oh my gosh, one of the most annoying things was I, I like, I'm really good at party games. <laughs> and Apple Knox destroyed me and that made me sad. Halloween is so much fun though, like, now that I have more of an idea of who I want to be for Halloween, like, I can't really go trick-or-treating anymore. I could probably pass as a 12-year-old with how I look IRL, but that probably won't be socially acceptable for people who know who I am to see an 18-year-old trick-or-treating. I wouldn't go up and get candy. I'd probably just walk around in a Halloween costume, to be honest. I want to be Mabel from Gravity Falls. I want, I want it to be Raven from Teen Titans Go at one point as well. Star Butterfly would have been harder to do from Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and I love Avatar The Last Airbender. I would love to be Toph. My sister actually was going to do Avatar The Last Airbender theme this year, and I was going to be Toph. There was like an entire group, because my sister has a lot of friends that, and one of her friends was going to be Uncle Iroh. It would have been so cute, but I don't know if that's still going to happen. So I'll probably just be tape face this year. I don't even know if Halloween's happening this year because of Corona. Like, if kids knock on my door, I was gonna do something clever though this year for tape face. I was gonna put a mask on but to put tape over the mask. I might post a picture, I don't know. You can't really see my face that well. I put like literal hair gel in my hair because I, I have bangs IRL as well. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, the trick is to just cut everyone off from existence. To the moon! My heart is still racing from that one game right here and jumping when it hits your mouse thing. Oh, look at the part. Are you kidding me? Yay. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I love you all and everything will be fine. And why?